In a previous video, I showed some of the interesting principles of polarizing filters and how you can block light just by changing the polarity here, as you can see I'm doing. What I'm going to do on this experiment is I'm going to add one more screen. I'm going to add the screen that contains the pixels, the liquid crystal, and the transparent electrodes. I'm going to put it in between these other two polarizing screens. Only I'm going to heat the screen up to cause some of the crystals to polarize the same way it would do as if you were applying electricity. So give me a second to heat this up here. Okay, now I'll put it in front of here. You can see where it's been heated. You can actually see a black dot. Now watch if I turn this here. Now it lets light through. I can let that lets light through. Now watch if I move it out of the way, you won't even know it's polarized. Anyway, I found that fascinating. Now I can see how they're able to block the light from coming through from the backlight that shines through the color filters. And again, if you were applying electricity to the invisible electrodes, you would cause the uh, liquid crystal to polarize the same way I just did with the heat there. You can see it's getting darker as it as it cools down, or in this case, lighter. Anyway, I'll show you one more time just to add a little more to this video here. I'll heat it up one more time. It doesn't take too long. By the way, it was a real task peeling the uh, polarizing screen off of the glass panel here. If I had a light source behind there, you would certainly be able to block that using these filters. You can see as it cooling, it slowly fading out there. There we go. Still got a little bit of a dark area or a light area in this case.